may have heard the saying that little things... That was me almost two years ago, very overweight and unhealthy. I thought this was how my life would be from now on. But then one night, something happened that changed everything, and I was ready for a change. Now, with the help of family and friends, I'm building a new life. And because so many of you have asked what happened, here's my story. For the last two years, I've been working to build that new healthy life, and the process have lost 60 pounds. Like many people, I love to eat, but because of the food I was choosing every day, I was unhealthy and unhappy and ready for a change. This is me two years ago. I couldn't see how unhealthy I had become because I had stopped looking in the mirror. But one night, there was no way to avoid seeing myself. I had a part in a film, and when I saw myself on that giant screen, I was faced with the reality. Something had to change, or I might not be here for long. I asked Dr. Milady Murphy what I should do, how can I get healthy, and she sent a life-changing email that laid the groundwork for my new healthy way of life. Joining me again is Dr. Milady Murphy, health expert with Shelton State Community College. Dr. Murphy, I have in my hands here the actual email you sent me back January 27, 2012. Wow. And in that email, you recommended that I look up and at the Mediterranean way of eating. Will you tell the folks at home a little bit about what that is and why is that so healthy? Well, you know, Janie, every medical organization that deals with health and obesity recommends the Mediterranean diet. Um, it is the staple uh, for nutrition in the Mediterranean countries where they have the lowest risk of heart disease, cancer, obesity, diabetes, especially type 2. First of all, in, in the Mediterranean diet, olive oil instead mm -hmm. of butter mm -hmm. and margarine is the foundation. And you also uh, told me when I was looking at this way of eating that uh, no more fried, get right. away from that as much as possible, and do baked, broiled, or grilled. And fish and chicken are important as well. And if we're going to do red meat, lean, Excellent. very little. Right. And so that's what we at, at my house, my husband's been cooking. <laughs> he good. does all the cooking for us. And, yes. Um, and so that's what he's been doing. And it literally, uh, with once I started this in that January month of 2012, 35 pounds initially just flew right mm -hmm. off. And it was uh, the healthy way of eating, uh, including also a lot of beans and things that we right. like to eat as well. And it was uh, smaller portion sizes too. And we'll get to that in just a little bit. Um, a typical day of eating, Dr. Yes. Murphy, used to be uh, one of those big breakfast platters that you get at the fast foods with the uh -huh. bacon and the eggs and, and the biscuits and the gravy. And then at lunch, maybe a foot long sub and, and at supper, fried chicken and and all that stuff. And I right. have brought here now, this is what I'm having today. And so I brought for, for you, uh, to because to, this is what we had talked about. Yes. This is um, home-cooked oatmeal uh, with some apple and cinnamon that I used water actually for that. And, and But skim milk is very, very good, good too. too. Uh, some uh, mid-morning snack as a banana. And very then good. some vegetable, homemade vegetable soup. Um, my mother makes that and I really enjoy very it. No nice. chemicals, it's just it's really all natural. Good yes. Uh, a snack for around three o'clock. I always seem to get hungry, so I do some fruit and Very some good, almonds. Very good, Janie. Very good. And then good. at dinner, this usually has some chicken in it, but this is just vegetable stir fry with uh, brown rice. And then um, if uh, if I want a little something later on, if I want something sweet, I'll have like a half a cup of some low-fat ice cream. Real food in smaller portions and exercise is producing real change. It's important to note that when Dr. Murphy and I say diet. We're talking about a dietary or nutritional plan. I did not go on a diet. To me, when I hear someone's going on a diet, that has a beginning and an end. I needed a complete lifestyle change. So I changed the way I eat on a daily basis and changed the way I live. Health experts say you should always consult your physician before starting a new plan or exercise program. Well, coming up tomorrow, how a smaller plate is also helping me lose the weight.